All right. Hey everyone, got another quick tip video coming to you right here about 12 hours before the start of the season. I'm sure all of you are excited, uh, probably getting in your last minute YouTube content fix <laughs> before closing the browser windows and um, putting up the live searches, getting your grind on. I know that's exactly what I'll be doing. Speaking of live searches, this video is going to incorporate a live search. Uh, TLDR, you can check out the description down below to see what it is. I think you'll thank me later for that one but if you want to stick around and hear what I have to say the video will be relatively short uh, this one's all about veiled modifiers unveiling in particular target farming or more specifically target buying uh, specific veiled items so you can acquire that veiled modifier on your crafting bench yes there are a lot of crafts on the bench that come by default but some of them are veiled modifiers and they're some of the most powerful ones in some cases they are absolutely build enabling um, and I'm going to be talking about one of them in, sp in particular, specifically, it is called Elrond's uh, Veiled Modifier, and it's the one that reduces the flat amount of mana cost to your spells, either channeling or non-channeling. And I've leaked started with Toxic Rain, for example, an extremely important uh, modifier to have on jewelry, uh, especially if I ever want to have a chance of dropping the mana flask entirely. So I know there's a lot of builds out there who are in a kind of a similar situation. And Elrond's modifier, arguably the most desirable one in the first day or two of the season, and as far as my recollection serves, probably the most expensive one. I do recall last season, uh, it cost, I think, uh, 10 to 20 chaos, and I bought a few of them because I failed to unveil the mod that I wanted for the first few, and I realized I made a mistake and I could have went about it in a more intelligent way. And like most quick tips video, I'm sharing with you, or, or it is rather, it is derived from an experience I had and a lesson that I learned. And so I want to kind of My give you guys sold. the heads up on that and set you up so that you're not going to fail like I did. <laughs> because, yeah, blowing 50 chaos trying to target a veil that you need on day one or day two, not really acceptable. <laughs> Not something you want to do. So, um, yeah, let's talk about how this works. So, obviously, you know, I have a few unveiled modifiers here. And if you hit Alt, you can actually see it says prefix modifier Aileron's Veil. So, surface level tip of, of this tip. This tip's actually multi-layered in the sense that if you, if you don't really know anything about June, well, th this is from the Syndicate Mastermind and they drop the veiled modifiers and you can unveil it sometimes the item's good sometimes it's not but for most people it's about unlocking that modifier you only have to do it once now and you get the modifier on your crafting bench and then you can craft gear uh, the way you want you have to run june missions and, and acquire the items the hard way from the syndicate operatives if you're in solo self found of course like most of my videos, this is not about solo cell phone. It's about trade leaks. So we're going to bypass all that hard stuff. We're just going to go straight to trade. And I can pull you up right here. And you can see here that uh, you may not have been aware, but you can actually target search specific veils. So this is something I wasn't even aware of the first league I played. So that's a tip right there. And then... Uh, once you target the veil, it will come out to the proper slot, either prefix or suffix. So in this case, Elrond's veil is a prefix. Uh, in case you're not aware of what Elrond's veil is, I got it right here. It is this one. It is channeling skills have minus four to total mana cost, or non-channeling skills have a whopping nine to ten minus to total mana cost. But that only ends up being six to seven um, you know, off the benchcraft, up to eight if it's catalysted up. So, uh, so this is the first layer, first tier of the tip, if you will. You can target by this way. And if, uh, if I go in here and I search, well, I can have 71 results. On standard, by the way. So yeah, I probably should have mentioned the TLDR. This is not set up exactly the way it needs to be because it's not set up on the new league in the UI. But I can't select it because we still got another 12 hours <laughs> to go. Uh, all right, so you can see there's a lot of different ones here. It says Elrond's Veil, vale, very safe and secure here. And this is basically what I bought. Okay, ironically, they're priced at about a similar price that they were on the first couple days of the league. But this is actually a little cheaper. And I don't think these ever sell for really less than five chaos. So you really don't want to mess it up whether you're buying this in the first day, two, or even the first week or two. Uh, you really want to want to hit this unveil because it's an expensive item to buy veiled. Not necessarily because the item is good in its own right, but just getting the pre-veiled uh, modifier is very expensive. So uh, one thing we can do to target farm it is I can ask it to find one that has mana or life. Now, why am I doing that? Well, it's because uh, we can 
perform a, a little known function called blocking. So if you're, uh, you're familiar with crafting, and this is kind of a, a layer deeper on the tip of the day here, uh, if you're familiar with blocking, it means that we can we can orient the item so that when we exalt slam, or in this case, unveil, uh, it is blocking certain modifiers that it can't roll. So I have a higher chance of, of hitting the one I want, which is this one right here. You can see here the weighting's really high on mana. So the most intelligent thing to do is to block mana. That's one thing we're going to do. Now I can obviously block mana by simply crafting mana, mana on the item, right? Like this one right here. I crafted mana, so I'm not going to hit it. But you can actually take a step further and be even more targeting, more specific, and increase your chances up even higher, uh, all the way up to 95% or 97% if my uh, probability calculations were correct on the amulet, 97% or 95% on the ring, both very high. If you block both mana and life, so out of the three prefixes, one of them is mana, one of them is life, and then the other one is the veiled modifier. And what that means is the only way to miss is if you hit all three dual damage, elemental damage modifiers, which all have a weighting of 1,000 up to 3,000, whereas these rolls have a total weighting of 3,000. By the way, I'm 99% sure that if you hit either one of Elrond's Veils, you are able to craft the other one. I, I, I have that memory in this. Maybe somebody can uh, verify that in the comments below. It would be much appreciated. Uh, so that's what we're going to do, and to set up the trade window this way, we need to do a count on either max mana or max life, any tier is fine, and then uh, obviously Elrond's Veil there, and then one more line that says we need uh, empty prefix modifiers or a crafted prefix modifier so I can craft the missing one, and that's actually what I have right here. I went ahead and pre-bought all of these uh, here, so you can see them with the alt, and you can pause if you want to. I've already pre-blocked all of these, so all five of these are set up with at least, with, with basically a 95% chance of success. And just for fun, I'm going to unveil these here so you can see it in action. And you can see that I'm very likely to hit uh, Elrond's Veil on all of these here. There we go, that's one. Success, okay. Here we got a ring. Oh, boom, success right there. Extremely high chance. Only have about a 5% chance of failing this. And again, you can hit either one of Elrond's Veil. There it is again. And I think I'm going to succeed on all five of these. Yep, very much so. Okay, now I obviously might have failed one of those, but it would have been extremely unlikely. So that is the tip, and that's going to save you a lot of currency, I think, in the next season if you're someone like me and you <coughs> you want that Veil modifier. By the way, uh, you can actually make some currency crafting some items like that in the first day or two. People are so desperate for them, they may not even bother trying to find like the Veil Unveil modifier or whatever. They may just try to buy the item outright. So there is a lot of currency potential earning there as well. So this will help set you up straight for having an inexpensive unveiling process. And that's about all I got to say on this video. So, well, I'm excited as you guys are. So we'll see you around. It's going to probably be a few days till I make another video because I'm going to be busy grinding. Anyway, till next time. See you for now.